Right. In, in regards to Jimmy Garoppolo, the, the numbers from the two playoff games haven't been what they were during the regular season. And I know you've talked about, you know, his leadership and, and some of the intangible stuff, but just it, what what is it about him behind the scenes that maybe you can elaborate on that allows you to maintain trust in him, even if that, you know, the, the production might not be what it was in the regular season? Well, I mean, we're able to maintain trust in him because we, we keep winning. You know, like anytime you're like a quarterback is a very it's the number one. Like if you went down the list of the order of importance at position positions on the team, like quarterbacks, number one, it's very, very heavy. Uh, a team's success is very heavily dependent on the quarterback position. So the fact that we're winning games is not just a surprise. Like Jimmy is playing great football, you know, and it's a team game. Like it's not just all heavily dependent upon if Jimmy does well, we're going to we're going to win like. No, he does exactly what we need him to. And he comes into work every single day and is the exact same person. Like he's not the one he's not he's not on social media looking at what everybody's tweeting about him. You know, like he who knows what he does outside of the building. I don't know. But he, I know as soon as he comes inside this building, he's literally the same exact person every day, um, no matter what. You know, so I think that's what we all kind of respect the most is he just always comes to work um, and is always trying to get better. Yeah, Fred, after the. um the Green Bay game, Jimmy Ward was talking about the concept of finishing and how Kyle has made such a big a big deal about that. And he referred back to the Chiefs game and thinking that was a game we didn't finish. And you guys have been pretty good at finishing this year. I'm wondering what, you know, it can be pass rush. It can be the running game. What what to you is finishing a game? It's kind of a, a concept more than it is a specific thing. Uh, I mean, to me, it means winning. <laughs> but uh yeah I mean I think our style of football is on both sides of the ball or all three phases I should say you know the the, the concept of wanting to run the ball well um you know on defense closing it out the, with the um marrying up the pass rush with the with the um coverage in the back end you know and there was times in the season where we didn't close you know early on in the season we, we saw you saw how the Green Bay game went in week three compared to how it went last week so it's for sure been something that we've we've gotten better at throughout the year. Um, it's uh, it takes all, it takes everyone. It takes everyone being dialed in for a full four quarters and we're going to need the same thing this week. Fred, you just mentioned the, the phrase, your, your style of football. You look around the league and a lot of teams that are still playing have a very different style than what you guys have. Why do you believe your style works so well for you guys? Uh, I think just, uh, you know, we I think on offense, we run the ball really well, which is something that you need, uh, you know, in January football, January, February football and, uh, you know, on defense, stopping the run. I think, you know, it's such a pass heavy league, but, you know, at the same time, teams still want to get the run game going to open up things in the back end. And, um, you know, I think if, if we if we lean on those two things on both sides, uh, I think that's what is that's kind of like what the, our core is, I, I would say. Fred, a lot of people have talked about how resilient you guys are. What is it about this locker room? How does that resilience develop? I mean, not every roster can go through what you've been through, like staying in Arizona, the Super Bowl in 2019. How does that build and how does that develop on a, on a roster? Well, I think it starts with guys already having like the right character to begin with, you know, bringing the right people in. I've, I've talked about it. Um, we, I think we have a group of guys, not to say that other teams don't, but we all genuinely love football and and and, and uh, are constantly trying to see way like find ways to get better at our craft um, no matter if we're down or if we're up you know we're we're always locked in at the task at hand and it you build resiliency through going through hard things and we've gone through just about as hard of a season as you can imagine and the fact that we're still you know we're one of four teams still in it um, I think just speaks true to that and um, you know we're, we're everybody's peaking right at the right time and that's what that's what the whole that's what the season's about that's what football's about is you got to make sure you're you're playing at your best when your best is needed um and so we're going to need every, everybody's best come sunday got time for three more guys fred building off jennifer mentioned arizona last year uh kyle just talked about passionately about what that might mean you know bonding this team and how things aren't always easy they aren't always fun in football do you feel like it was something that is carried over the and what was it like? What were those days like stuck in your hotel room? I mean, what did you do all those days? <laughs> uh, um, it, it, was a, it was that entire season as a whole was very unique, you know, starting with that first game and in, in Levi's zero fans. Um, you know, we, we lose a tough one to Arizona, the Cardinals in game one. 
and then throughout the year dealing with the whole COVID protocols and not having fans all year long and then getting, uh, you know, moved, moved over to Arizona for the remaining part of our season. And yeah, I mean, you do close, you do grow a lot closer, you know, going through something like that. And, um, I always, I always remember that season, you know, for a lot of reasons, but I, I for sure think that that, um, has helped build the team, you know, build our team that we have now and, and, and make us closer. But yeah, back then it was, you had no choice, but to just, to, just, to love football and love what you do. Cause there was nothing else. Hey, Fred, <clears throat> not setting you up for more bulletin board material here, but it's a <laughs> legitimate question. <laughs> Kyle, you know, after you guys first beat the Rams in November, he said, we want to make that, we want to make the game as physical as possible. And George said, before you beat the Rams last time, we want to make the game against them as physical as possible. Obviously, that's the idea, I would imagine, going into most NFL games. But is there something about the Rams that makes you guys want to play, you know, kind of turn it into a backyard brawl? I'm going to give you something juicy right here. <laughs> you ready? No. Listen, we want we want to be physical every game. It doesn't matter who we're playing. Um, you know, that's back to when we were referring to like, you know, what what is our team built on? And that I think that's you see it, you see it on tape every week. And that's just the type of guys we have, and that's how we play every week. Last one, guys. Fred, you guys it's a ton until that last third down at Green Bay. I wonder what it's been like for you and for D'Amico this year to kind of figure out when to trust, you know, what you guys do well versus when to maybe be selectively aggressive and blitz. Uh, you know, that that's solely that's solely on on uh, on D'Amico, you know, and the, and he has been just tremendous. The the way that he's called games, especially in this in this late part of the season. I mean, it's it's unreal. Like I. I, I see it unfold before my eyes, obviously being out there running the plays and, um, you know, receiving them, giving them out. And you build so much, you build so much trust in a coach when, you know, in, in tough moments, like in, in clutch, clutch moments and tight games like that, you know, and sometimes you just got to, you got to take chances. And when it, and when it, it turns out like you, you build so much, so much confidence in your coach, you want to play that much harder for him. All right. Thank you guys. Thanks. Thanks.